There's certainly plenty of water, but fewer of these. Glaciers throughout the Arctic are, are receding at a dramatic rate and, and indeed we did find that the coastlines were being eroded from the lack of ice now. Uh, the ice cover is melting and we, we, on talking to people we, we found that the permafrost was melting as well. Armed with his kayak, the Kent explorer spent two and a half months travelling through the northwest territories of the Canadian Arctic. He met with the indigenous Inuit communities who are trying to maintain their traditions. A local elder explained how things have changed. When I was very young, we uh, spent time in the hunting, hunting places, hunting grounds. We live in the igloos. Now today, now we're living in our warm houses, heated houses, warm place to sleep. It's a uh, it's a lot of changes. And that isn't the only thing they've seen change. They are now seeing flowers, birds and insects where they never would have appeared before. So a lot of these things are moving forward as things warm up there. The main focus of the expedition was to make school children here in Kent aware of the effects of climate change. So Glenn organised a series of online link-ups like this one between Tunbridge Grammar School and the Samuel Hearn School in Inuvik. And I really think unless we, we develop our society in a way that means that we care about people and the environment over and above money, then we are in real trouble. Glenn's now training for an even longer trip to the Arctic, aimed at bringing the region's problems to a wider audience. Susanna Mendonca, BBC South East Today.